Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars, and today I have a 1970 Gibson SG Standard with an amazing Pelham Blue reef in that just looks absolutely incredible. It's one of the staff favorites right now. We keep on kind of orbiting around this thing, and it's definitely been a conversation piece. Obtainable because of that reef in, and it's just done so right. Still has the original patent number pickups in it, which sound awesome. Really cool having the tremolo option on one of these. They're such powerful guitars that you know, the Bigsby doesn't, you don't lose a lot of that tone from it. You still have so much power coming out of these pickups that this is very usable and musical. Pelham Blue is one of my favorite colors to see on old Gibsons. It's kind of a Gibson favorite as far as custom colors go. And whoever did this finish, I'm not sure who did, but they did an amazing job. Very, very true to the iconic Pelham Blue finish that you'd see on the original ones. Overall, a light guitar. The neck feels really good, kind of that medium width. Just a total player. And, you know, an ideal stage guitar just from how cool it looks. But again, one of my favorite combinations, kind of secret weapons are SGs with the vibrato. I think that's just an amazing combination and a perfect marriage between those two designs. We're plugging into an original 50s Gibson GA40, kind of the, uh, the king of Gibson amps. And you know, as far as that whole GA lineup, GA40 is total rock and roll. We love matching those up with Gibsons. We, you know, I always go, Gibson and Defender amps, I feel like. That's kind of just a go-to for me, but the GA40 has just amazing qualities. You don't really get out of another amp. It's almost like a souped up Supro Thunderbolt or something. They're a little bit dark, but they come through really good on the mix. They articulate well. They're just badass. So today, we have the one and only Aaron Hebert, my dear buddy, playing this 1970 SG Standard through an original Gibson GA40. Thank you. 